Assalamualaikum. I welcome you all to the DSU YouTube channel. I am here with another very interesting lesson, lesson of science. Today our learning outcome is strong and weak solutions. To understand what are strong and weak solutions, we need to first understand what is a solution. To that, let's watch a video. As you can see in the video that there is some water and we have mixed sugar in it. Now as we are mixing it you can observe that the sugar is uh, getting transparent and you cannot see it. And after some time you can see that the sugar has completely disappeared. After watching the video, I am sure you are wondering that where did the sugar go when we were mixing it? The answer is dissolving. When we dissolve sugar in water, the sugar particles collide with water particles and gradually they spread evenly in the solution and become microscopic. That is why we cannot see the sugar particles anymore. As you already know that the particles of solid are tightly packed. But when they dissolve in a liquid, the space between the particle uh, molecules grow. The molecules begin to move more freely. We may not be able to see the evidence of the particles anymore, but they are still present in the solution. To understand this, we need to know what is a solute and a solvent. Solute is a substance that can be dissolved by a solvent and create a solution. A solute can come in many forms. It can be a gas, liquid or a solid. A material in which a solute dissolves resulting in a solution is called a solvent. We always find solvent as a liquid but it can also be a solid, a gas or a supercritical fluid. So the solution is a homogeneous mixture of one or more solutes dissolved in a solvent. Now let's understand what are soluble and insoluble substances. Some substances dissolve when we mix them with let's say water. Substances that dissolve in water are called soluble substances. When you mix sugar with water, the sugar dissolves to make a transparent solution. In the same way, salt is also soluble in water. Substances that do, that do not dissolve in water are called insoluble substances. When you mix sand or flour in water with water they do not dissolve so they are unsoluble now let's talk about the two different types of solutions the concentration of a solution is a measure of the amount of solute that has been dissolved in a given amount of solvent or a solution the dilute solution is the one which has relatively small amount of dissolved solute. If we add more water to an aqueous solution, we would be diluting it because the ratio of solute to solvent would be decreasing. A concentrated solution on the other hand is a relatively large amount of dissolved solute. If we are heating a solution causing the solvent to evaporate we are actually concentrating it because the ratio of solute to solvent would be increased. Now let's see some demonstrations in order to understand what is, what is a dilute solution and what is a concentrated solution. Today we are going to show you an experiment related to dilute and concentrated solutions. So I have these two beakers and I have taken equal amount of water in both of the beakers that is 100 ml. We are going to do a fair test. Uh, so for that we need to keep all the variables same. The temperature of the water is the same. The amount of water is the same. Just the amount of the solute that we are going to dissolve in this water is going to be different. In the first beaker here we are going to put one teaspoon of the solute and on the other beaker we are going to put two teaspoons of the solute and then we are going to mix them both so 
as you can see that the color of the two nickel solutions are different in the first one the solution is light red in color and the second one is dark red which shows us that the first one is a dilute or a weak solution because it has less amount of solute in it and the second one is a concentrated solution because it has more amount of solute in it so this is another experiment for weak and strong solutions we have equal amount of water in both the beakers and uh, the temperature of the water is also, also the same they are placed right next to each other in the first beaker we are going to put less solute and in the second beaker we are going to put more amount of solute and then we are going to mix them so as you can see that the solution is very thick it is very it looks very concentrated it is a strong solution it's concentrated just look at the color of both the solutions it is light light yellow and this is dark yellow orange -ish. So this shows us that the first one which has less amount of solute is dilute uh, solution and the one which had more amount of solute is a concentrated solution. So after watching the video, I'm sure you are able to understand the difference between a strong solution uh, or a concentrated solution and weak solution or a dilute solution. So we can conclude that a dilute solution consists of less solute and more solvent, while a concentrated solution consists of more solute and less solvent. Thank you.